Hi, I'm Danielle with Put a Finish on It. If you're a writer looking for an editor, let me know. I recently finished reading the Alice series by Phyllis Reynolds Naylor, all 25 of them. I'm not counting the prequels for young readers that I don't plan on reading. The first book, The Agony of Alice, came out in 1985. I didn't discover the series until 2005 when I was 24 and tutoring a 12 year old. I searched for books with 12 year old protagonists to try to get her interested in reading. My student didn't love the book, but I did. And I quickly read all the books in the series that the library had. I thought Alice was quirky and funny and so relatable with all of her embarrassing moments and her two best friends. Now there are three books for every one year of Alice's life with one coming out each year. So eventually the author had to make the jump from the 80s to Alice having a cell phone and using the internet. Even though if she were sticking to the original timeline, Alice would be 16 in 1989, not 2005. Of course I understand the need to keep things contemporary and to come up with new covers all the time, but it is a bit strange. If Naylor were writing the series now, there's no way Alice's older brother would have been named a Lester. Phyllis Reynolds Naylor wrote Alice books for almost 30 years. You can just imagine the number of readers who have been following this character for decades, with new ones discovering her all the time. Readers follow Alice in 24 books all through adolescence until in the final installment she goes to college and we find out way too perfunctorily what happens to her through the age of 60. Now I'll tell you everything is a very apt title. I think this series is the longest I've ever completed. Only took 10 years. How about you? Is there a series you loved as a kid that's still coming out with new books? What's the longest series you've ever read? That's all for me today. Thanks for watching.